All right, now my favorite segment of the week, sports stories. And today we got a special guest, Jim Miller, who is an NFL agent and attorney. Good to have you on the show. Thanks for having me. Appreciate so you got, a, you got a big draft coming up here soon in April. Yeah, April 28th kicks it off. So five guys you're working with. Five guys. Um, we keep it small, keep it intimate, so is that we work with each guy independently. It's not as though we take 15 or 20 for the draft and hope somebody makes it. We, we try to limit our five to a, a good quality group How of guys. How long have you been doing this, Jim? March 14th will mark my 20th year. 20th so, so year. 20, 20 years as an agent. You know, I bet you got some good stories. Of course, everybody, when they hear sports agent, we think of Jerry Maguire. Right? Well, why wouldn't a, you? I mean, it was one of the greatest movies. It's a timeless movie. Right. Um, obviously, what you do is not Hollywood, right? So you're actually working with these athletes. Tell us about the process of working with an athlete. Obviously, the goal is to get them drafted. Sure. Are you part of that showcasing process? And then, of course, once they get drafted, you got to work out the deal and the contract with them. What, how does this all really work in, in real life, not, on, not in Hollywood? Well, the most important thing is once you, you have the client, and getting the client is very difficult. I would imagine. I mean, there's, there's only about 1,580 jobs in the NFL. Okay. Right? Well, there's 850 agents that are certified by the NFL Players Association. So mm. you can do the math. It's a pretty close relationship there. Uh, fewer than half, though, actually have anybody that re they represent. Okay. So about half the agents in the NFL are the ones that are actually doing the business in the NFL. Okay. So once you have the client, what does that client need? Do they need specific training for the 40, for their bench press, for their L drill, all these little combine drills, what we call them? Mm. And most of the time, that's true. They need something because it's not football. And... It's almost funny because people get very caught up in the combine, right? Uh, the NFL Network covers it, ESPN covers it. Sure, yeah. They all want to know what was the forty, what was the what was the vertical jump, right? But the coaches, honestly, in my experience, they don't get too caught up in the numbers. As long as the guy doesn't show up and have a leg missing, but he can play football. Interesting. That's what they want to know. Now the scouts, on the other hand. They want to know how he plays football, but they are also taking those numbers down. Hmm. So I think that the scout side of the office in each NFL team pays more attention to that than, than the coaches specifically. But so we get the player. I like him to come to San Diego. One, I'm here. Two, you can't get better weather with the exception of perhaps the last two months for San Diego. Sure. But you can't get better weather to train in pretty much nationwide, mm. because you can train outdoors. Some of the top trainers are in San Diego. You have Todd Durkin's group at Fitness Quest in Scripps Ranch. You have Exos up in Carlsbad. Yep. You have prolific athletes. Ryan Flaherty's group up in Carlsbad. Um, you have the track coaches at San Diego State who, who will train guys on the side. So you're getting one of the top track programs in the nation that will also work with your guys, primarily the defensive backs wide receivers, running backs. So why wouldn't you want them here in San Diego? Plus, it gives me the opportunity, because my own background is I was a track athlete at San Diego State. Mm -hmm. It gives me the chance to get out and see them train. And I can pick up something, okay, foot needs to go here, their angle's off. I can help them a little bit myself, so let me ask which is you, why I love the, jo love the job. Yeah, it's, I mean, it seems like a fun profession, to right. be honest with you, as a former sports guy. ESPN has done a good job of leveraging the ratings of all of this. I mean, they've really stretched this thing out and made it a big production, which is good for them. I mean, it's, a, it's very entertaining for those who love football. How much of that on the entertainment side are you involved with, the on-the-field stuff versus the back end? I mean, what's the percentage here? Is it is a 50-50 type thing? Working for your athlete to make sure, and we're talking about draft-eligible guys. Sure. To make sure that... Everybody in the NFL organization that you're talking to knows who your guy is, takes up a tremendous amount of time. Okay. From emails to phone calls to I so still you're send, hustling. Yeah, I still send out physical DVDs to these teams because I want the coaches and, and the scouts to physically touch something in their hands with my player's name on it. A, a lot of scout agents don't do that anymore. Mm -hmm. um, but some of these scouts and coaches, as recent as eight, nine years ago, they were still going to VHS tapes. I mean, wow. the technology advances rapidly, but the implementation of that on, on perhaps the scouting and the coaching side, it can take a little bit of time some some point. Well, it's awesome, man. I know that you're well-respected in the legal industry, but as an NFL agent and 
sounds like just old school hustle for some of this. I mean, it's you, pretty. You got to get after it. So big draft coming up April twenty eighth. You got some players who are going to be represented. I'd love to get you on after the fact, hear how it goes, and hear what's next for you guys. But I appreciate you coming on Sports Stories with us. Now, happy to be here. Like I said, we have five great kids. We have. And it, funny thing is, three of them are local San Diego high school products. One went wow. to San Diego State. So, talk about keeping it local as a local agent. It's fantastic. Good stuff, man. Great for this show. All right, gotta let you go. More Thank of the you. American Dream coming up next. <laughs>